Hey everyone, you're with Tom and Joy from Ludicrous Feed. Nice of you to join us today. Uh, you might have seen my previous video on uh, the differences between the Tesla Model Y Performance versus the Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive here in Australia. Uh, just a quick summary once again, in case you missed that video, let's uh, put that on the screen right now. Okay, so these prices are current to February 2023. Uh, there's a $26,000 difference between performance and rear wheel drive, same delivery date at the moment. Uh, 59 kilometer range difference between the two vehicles, uh, WLTP standard. Uh, Model Y performance is NMC. Model Y rear-wheel drive is uh, LFP or lithium iron phosphate, uh, arguably newer technology. And as you can see on the right-hand side, Model Y performance attracts a $33,000 difference between the two vehicles, uh, largely due to the luxury car tax and local stamp duty. Uh, which is not applicable for uh, New South Wales for Model Y rear-wheel drive because it falls under the uh, tax threshold for the relief. Another reason why to possibly get that if you're on a budget. Uh, and obviously the wheels are different as well. And we'll go through those differences in one second. And uh, these are the real world differences between uh, rear-wheel drive and performance from EV database, which I've gone through in my previous video. And also the efficiency is better as well for the uh, rear-wheel drive Model Y. And also uh, these are the goodies you get with the performance upgrade. So increased top speed, better wheels, performance brakes, uh, lowered suspension, aluminum alloy pedals, carbon fiber spoiler. As I've said in my previous video, we probably don't need most of these uh, at all, um, given that we'll just be using this as a family car and the occasional road trip uh, in Australia. And we certainly won't be uh, utilizing the top speed and all the increased performance in acceleration. And in terms of interior features, they're actually very similar vehicles. Uh, they both get the premium audio. Uh, they both get heated steering wheels, uh, heated front and the rear seats, HEPA air filtration system. Uh, the only difference I can see is the LED fog lamps for the performance vehicle. And of course, track mode, which obviously we won't be utilizing either, uh, given it's a family car. And uh, an important difference why we are choosing to cancel our performance model Y uh, order and go with a rear wheel drive is this reason in New South Wales, uh, provisional drivers, P1, P2 uh, drivers cannot drive the performance uh, model Y because of the power to weight ratio a threshold that the model Y performance uh, crosses. Whereas they can drive rear wheel drive uh, model Y cars. Uh, our son will be turning 17 or 16 to learn to drive and then 17 on his P1s mm. in three to four years time. So this is certainly a consideration while we're switching over to rear wheel drive. Yep. Yep. I, I remember sending a text message to uh, Tom basically saying, you know, is the rear wheel drive one of the cars that you can actually drive? And so when we looked it up and we realized that yes, you can actually drive it on your P's, um, suddenly it just made a heap more sense that we would get a car that he could drive rather than a car that he wouldn't be able to drive. Yeah. Mm. I mean, certainly we might get him another car by then, but at least it's nice to have a backup option. That there's at least one car that he can drive. It just it just makes sense. Yep, for sure. Yeah. So this certainly uh, seals the deal to move over to rural drive instead mm. of performance for our family anyway. So um, this was the screen that greeted us uh, two days ago when I released that video. So the performance model Y is what we had, and it outlined on the screen there on our accounts page, uh, the, the pricing schedule, as you can see there, and all the taxes as well. And uh, the only step remaining now was to pay this balance, $106,000, whatever it was, and then wait for the delivery date. And that car was basically ours. And uh, as you can see on the right-hand side, the Tesla VIN finder, this is a third-party uh, Chrome extension, which you can download for your Chrome browser. And then you can see whether you get that secret VIN that many people talk about uh, as new Tesla owners, uh, once you get that VIN, it means that your car is pretty much in production already. This example screenshot is actually uh, from uh, an example where we don't have a VIN, but at the time we had a VIN and the VIN was certainly located in that VIN section of that screenshot. So with that in mind, I was a bit concerned about switching over to rear wheel drive uh, because uh, I've heard in the past these deposits are non-refundable. Uh, but nevertheless, I called Tesla today to ask whether we can edit this page. And they said, yes, it's not too late. You can actually edit the page without any penalty. Uh, you won't lose your deposit. So because of that, they changed the page for us today and I'll show you what it looks like right now. So this is what the screen looks like now for our page uh, after they've allowed us to edit our order. All right, so there it is. So Thomas's Tesla, overview, next steps. Uh, that invoice is now gone. And instead this button or this link is now here, which is edit design. That's the one link you need to be able to change your order from performance to rear wheel drive. Uh, so let's do that right now for us. 
Okay, so once you sign in, then you can uh, change your order again. So we will change our order to uh, Model Y rear wheel drive. As you can see, dropped from 514 to 455 kilometers of WLTP range, dropped from 3.7 seconds to 6.9 seconds, zero to 100 kilometers an hour. And the price certainly is a big difference as well, from 93,000 to 68,000 before on roads. Driveway price is 73,236. And we certainly want to keep the blue color as well. So an extra 1,500 Australian dollars on top of that. And uh, we will stick with the Gemini wheels. Um, the smaller wheels certainly have a, a better ride in terms of suspension and uh, also cheaper as well, because they're included. If you want the induction wheels, increases to 20 inch and arguably a firmer suspension. And it costs $2,900 at the moment to upgrade those wheels. Uh, so uh, there are aftermarket wheel uh, rim protectors as well, which I will probably investigate once we take delivery of this car. All right, so scrolling down, uh, we want a black interior and five seats. That's the only option currently in Australia. Uh, we won't add enhanced autopilot or full self-driving capability at this stage. If we choose to do that, we'll do that after we take delivery uh, to keep this car under the stamp duty threshold relief here in New South Wales. Okay, so let's uh, order the Model Y, so review changes. All right, so we're in New South Wales. Uh, personal Model Y rear wheel drive, deep blue metallic paint, 19 inch Gemini wheels, all black premium interior, five seat interior, autopilot standard, 30 day premium connectivity trial. And let's have a look at the pricing. So 68,900 before on roads, $1,500 extra for the blue paint, included wheels, included black interior, five seat interior, uh, autopilot included, included or connectivity trial, delivery fee, $1,400, $350 order fee, which I'd already paid previously for the performance that's being carried over. As I said, there's no penalty to change this. So vehicle subtotal is $72,150, uh, $535 for local registration costs, CTP, which is our compulsory third party insurance in New South Wales covers injuries uh, in case you're involved in an accident. Uh, plate fee of $129 and on roads subtotal $1,086 and driveway price is $73,236. And importantly, it doesn't attract stamp duty uh, because it falls under the $78,000 threshold, which we're very happy about, of course. Five years fuel savings, I normally just ignore this. This is based on Tesla's uh, estimation. So this is the price I look at, which is the cash price, $73,236 drive away. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and uh, because we've placed an order previously, we could just press the update design. Uh, Joy, are you happy with that? Sure am. Yep, this will be Joy's car primarily. She'll be driving it around. And then eventually our sons, possibly. Oh, possibly. Yeah, well, at least he can drive it. Yeah, at least he yeah. can drive it. That's true. Mm. Lucky him. All right, update design. Okay, so this is the updated order page now. Okay, so uh, yeah, review design details. Let's have a look at that. There you go. Model Y rear wheel drive, deep blue metallic paint, Gemini wheels, all black premium interior, five seat interior, and autopilot. So that's great. Excellent. So now we have a rear wheel drive Model Y on order. Uh, estimated delivery date is still to be decided or to be uh, announced, I guess. Um, so yeah, delivery timing will be available soon. Um, if you go back to the main page, estimated delivery time is April to June for a brand new Model Y rear wheel drive order. So now it's February. So we're looking at maybe two to four months for this to arrive, which is fine. We've been waiting so long for a Model Y anyway. So an extra couple of months is not going to hurt, I think. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, that's how you change your order from my performance to a rear-wheel drive Model Y here in Australia. Uh, it takes a phone call to Tesla to allow you to edit your design. Uh, we already had a VIN. We already had pretty much the invoice to pay, and we could still change it to a rear-wheel drive. So it wasn't too hard at all. We didn't lose the original order fee either. So Very last minute. Very last minute. So, yeah, it's never too late. No, that's right. We were about to take delivery next month, according to the estimated delivery time. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching from Joy and myself on Ludicrous Feed. Until next time, happy charging.